Welcome to Dino and Nick's Homestead. Uh, it's February 2022. We haven't posted in a while, so we thought we'd update you on what's going on in our spring garden. So we have some sweet potatoes growing here. It's not quite time to plant them yet. Pretty soon. We have some tomatoes growing here. We have some peppers and some more tomatoes here. We also have some peas that we need to get in the ground and a very pitiful looking plant. The rest of the garden is... Let's talk about the sweet potatoes. First. Sweet potatoes? Okay. Well, Dean's going to talk to us about sweet potatoes. You can't grow sweet potatoes from a sweet potato like we're, we're going to do with a, a potato here in just a little bit. I believe it's a member of the nightshade family. And what you have to do is we'll have to break these stems off. And these are just store-bought sweet potatoes that have been uh, sitting in dirt for long uh, time, <laughs> maybe a couple of months. And what we'll do is we'll break these off and stick these plants in the ground and the plants themselves will grow the sweet potatoes, not the sweet potatoes. Okay, so we break off this little thing here. Yeah, here. well, we'll snap these off when they get bigger. And then and each one grows a root, right? Yeah, the, well, it grows a vine that okay. grows sweet potatoes like this right here. You could actually break that off into a, a couple of different pieces, but uh, it's going to be another month, maybe longer, maybe two months before we can actually plant sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes love hot weather. And uh, they pretty much take care of themselves once you get them started. So when it gets nice and warm is when we'll break these off and they'll, they'll be a lot longer by then. And then we can plant these in the ground. Uh, I think they're called uh, sets or something. To, uh, We'll plant those in the ground. That's how we'll get our sweet potatoes. And they are delicious. Okay. Over here we have arugula. It's the first time we planted it, and this is very overgrown arugula. It's a very uh, nutty, peppery tasting plant. Of course, you can see this has all gone to seed, uh, but I'm not going to throw it away because the chickens absolutely love arugula. Here are our peas. These are a cool weather plant. So we can plant them right now. The weather's been crazy. It will jump from 40 degrees by from day to day. It's just been a really difficult year for growing our winter garden. They're reaching over one to get you. Putting out vines. Oh yeah, this one's putting out vines. So we're gonna have to help them grow up the trellis. Here we have beets still coming up. Not really making beets, but enough to make uh, you know a batch of beet greens. We have kale. Kale. We had problems with a fungus this year. Is that right? fungus and insects because of the radical weather changes that we've had yeah it's still growing though nothing seems to kill kale <laughs> we have an onion patch here remember last year we had beautiful onions and the armadillo got in and killed them all so this year they're doing much better we have some celery still coming up of course we have more kale more kale here there's our swiss chard and Look at the leeks Dean planted. The leeks are looking absolutely beautiful. But the real reason we're posting today is we're gonna talk about something called the single seed challenge. Dean is much more eloquent when it comes to talking and teaching. So he is going to talk to us about the single seed challenge. I don't know about eloquent. You're, you're, your words come easily, mine do not. So it, I follow Scott Head, uh, he's a gardener on YouTube and he started a, a activity called the single seed challenge where you just take one seed and you plant it in the ground and you watch it grow from from seed till uh eventually the time that it dies back and see what kind of success you had and it's it's to encourage you to pay attention instead of the whole garden just the the uh individual plants that you're growing it gives you uh, a little more focus on the individuals all these potatoes that we're planting we actually bought in the store and uh Cooper getting in the compost. Cooper! <laughs> Cooper! <laughs> and uh, bought them in the store and they've been sitting in the garage for, I don't know, a couple of months. months. Mm -hmm. A couple of months. And uh, they, as you can see, they, they've been sprouted, but they're not, uh, I didn't order them from anywhere. We just bought them in the store and, and here they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over here and put a little sulfur on this guy. While you walk over there, I'm gonna get on Cooper. <laughs> One moment. So, let's, let's have Cooper cameo. Cooper? Frankham. Cooper is our dog that loves the compost. Cooper. Cooper. Notice how well he listens. Come here. Come here, boy. Come. Get over here. Yes, you're magnificent and you're a camera hog. Hello. Stay out of the compost, okay? It's gross. Okay, let's go back to the single seed challenge. We were talking about sulfur 
and why are we using it for the potatoes? Well, there's sulfur on the potato. It helps keep uh, some of the fungus away. And uh, I've not really seen a lot of gardeners do this. I've, I've always done it. Uh, does it work? I don't know. I've, I've not had, we've not had any uh, rotten potatoes from it. So our, this is our single seed challenge. Just one little poor potato that has been suffering through. You can see how it's all shriveled up and trying to grow out. And we thought, let's give this guy a chance and see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plant this guy here. We'll mark this area right here. And so we can show it periodically and let uh, everyone know who's uh, into the uh, single uh, seed challenge for uh, 2022. Uh, how well it's grown or not and if I might add if you want to know how everybody else's single seed challenge is going if you go to YouTube and look for the hashtag single seed challenge 2022 you'll be able to see people from just all over the country how they're doing with all over the world seed. I think is it it's the first time we've done it so we're excited so anyways let's see what happens with this potato how deep have you dug your hole about six inches and we've put uh, we've got some organic fertilizer in there and we've got some uh, some magnesium sulfate, sulfate right. uh, in there. That magne magnesium sulfate is going to help it green up, and of course, the organic fer fertilizer is going to break down and feed it over a period of time. So, let's sit her in there just like this. Bye bye. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Now we're going to cover it up about like that. So, you're not covering it all the way up to the brim. You've got no, I'll a cover trench. it up as it comes up. Yeah. So, yeah, Dean's put trenches in here. Um, it's kind of hard to see in this light. But when the green comes up, we just keep continuing to cover it with dirt. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So there we have it. I'm going to make a sign, a quaint little sign that'll say single seed challenge. And what we'll do is when this uh, withered up, pitiful looking potato breaks the surface, we'll do another video. And we're going to keep you posted from the time it went into the ground, from the time we dig it up. Dino and Nick's homestead. Cooper says hi.